Well, root canal is, uh, is treatment of a tooth that is abscessed or fractured or cracked that removes the nerve and the vitals of the tooth and allows the tooth to stay in the mouth and function normally. So it removes the pain and the infection from a tooth that's injured or infected. And it's just the same as it is in people, really, just different sized teeth and different sized roots. The importance of animals' teeth, both dogs and cats, is that it's the entrance to their body. So it's where their food goes in. It's also an entrance potentially for germs and other bad things that get in their mouth. And so when a tooth is diseased or cracked or infected, uh, they can't function and they can't eat and pick up food correctly. But they also, that's a potential inroad for other germs to get into the bloodstream and other systems in the body. The most important thing is that they go to their regular veterinarian and have the, the dog or cat's mouth examined regularly. And usually that's part of a, of a general exam, but sometimes the pet owner needs to be insistent that the teeth are checked properly. Um, the other thing that they may notice is that the animal or, or the pet becomes finicky with the food, doesn't eat the food that they normally used to. Um, they may smell more than just doggy or kitty breath. So halitosis or bad breath, and sometimes they may even see drooling or bleeding from the mouth. That would be an indication that there's an obvious infection or, or painful, indica uh, painful problem. When a tooth is, is severely fractured, and especially if it's a big chewing tooth or if it's a large canine tooth and the dog is a very playful, active, or even a working dog, um, then that initial injury has cracked the tooth or weakened it to a point that even if we do the root canal and remove the pain and the infection, we want to do something that's going to stabilize it a bit more, to provide a little more strength to it so that the dog can go back to doing more normal chewing with it. So a crown restoration is just, most people will call it a cap that fits over the tooth and uh, provides more stability. And so it's almost like uh, protection for your investment. And that's the way most human dentists look at it too. When you get a root canal, you almost always get some sort of a cap or crown over the top to bind the tooth together um, and try to make it as strong as possible so that it doesn't crack more in the future. And sometimes it's very subtle. I mean, it's, it's not uncommon for people, even though I look in the animal's mouth and see an injured tooth where the nerve is exposed, for them to say, I don't notice anything different with my dog. So that sometimes the, the changes are subtle. Again, they may just not finish their dinner. Um, they may not pick up the toy or play with it. And most of the time people write that off as, oh, they don't like their food anymore, or they want a new toy, or maybe they're just slower and more withdrawn. Oh, Fluffy's getting older, you know, she's just slowing down. And so sometimes then in hindsight when we fix the problem, we do a root canal on the tooth, um, then the people will come back to me at the follow-up exam and say, you know what? I think she was in pain. Now she picks up her bone. Now she wants to play with her toy. Um, now she eats her food great. So in hindsight, I think sometimes we, we're writing you know, some of the symptoms off as something else, but actually they are, they are painful you know, symptoms from, from a bad tooth. 